Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. Brainstorm Force has a very popular Gutenberg add-on called Spectra. The name has just changed. It was previously called Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. A big update to Spectra to version 2 has just gone into beta, and there's news now about a pro version which is in the works. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the upcoming beta and share news about the pro version. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps us spread the word about the channel. So here's the plugin in the WordPress plugin directory. You can see it says formerly Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. They've already started the renaming process. It's currently on version 1.25.4. And if you look in your WordPress plugin directory, have it installed, it still shows there as Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. So they're just in the process of renaming the plugin. We see it has more than 300,000 active installs. It has 769 five-star reviews, and 16 out of 24 support issues have been resolved in the last two months. So let's go look now at what the changes are in the coming version two. Here's a test site with the Astra theme. If we go to the plugins, you see here is Spectra version 2.0 beta 1 and a proviso. Remember that this is a beta, so things could change a bit between now and the time it's released. Spectra has its page under the settings menu and they've redone this area. This is now what the block list looks like. You can see it's very attractive. Previously, it was just a list on the page. They've organized it by type of block. Okay, I've got them all activated here. And then they put the settings all on its own page. You have some editor options, options for asset regeneration, and whether you want the styles to be inline or the CSS and JavaScript files aggregated together whether you want the template library to be available, roll back to the previous version or enable the beta, cut down on the fonts and load Google fonts locally, which is important these days, recapture options, and a coming soon mode where you can take the site and make it private, just show a page that you created while you're working on it. Okay, if we go and add a new page, here are the blocks. They've changed the color and some of the icons. They used to be purple. And they've added a few blocks, and we'll look at those here in a moment. They've also renamed some of the blocks. For example, this is the Spectra heading block. It used to be called Advanced Heading. So let's just add this now to the page. And so if we look over here, this is a change because the settings are in three tabs. Previously, the settings were all just in one list, one long list on the side here. Having tabs will make it easier for them to add more settings and advanced settings in the pro version, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Here's something that they've added. They've added presets. So you have different layouts and styles that are pre-designed, so that's new. Many of the settings that exist between version 1 and version 2 are the same. They had these before, they're just better organized now. They've had display conditions, user state, user role, browser, operating system, and the option to hide by device size, but they've broken that out into an advanced tab. So I want to show you another feature, but to do that, I want to do a little styling here. There's the heading, and now I will change the separator and then the description. Okay, so we've customized the style of our heading. Now let's add another heading. Okay, and here is a new feature. They now have copy-paste styles. So I can click on the paintbrush, copy style, and then go to another heading and paste style. 
All right, so that's kind of cool. That'll be a time saver for people. Let's remove these now. They've added a new block. It's called Advanced Image. I'm going to pick the image from the media library. In addition to the standard options with the core block, we also have a couple of new options when using the advanced image block. We have on hover image, so there's zoom in, slide, grayscale, and blur. So those are interesting. And then their mask options. We have circle, diamond, hexagon, rounded. Then we have blob, several blob options, and then a custom mask option. And here you can upload your own mask. So this will be nice for branding and showing custom image masks. All right, so that's the advanced image block. Now, another feature that's coming is there's a new container block. So I'll just add three columns here. And I'll just put some images into each of the columns. For the middle column. And the right column. Here is the new column block. It has a new feature. Let's click it for full width to make the images larger. And then the new feature it has are these flex properties. Flexbox layouts have been available in some of the advanced page builders like Oxygen and Bricks, but it's only just now coming to Gutenberg and Spectra has a nice set of controls that are pretty easy to use. You can control the direction, you can control the alignment, and then you can justify and you have wrap options. So this is something new and it'll make it easier to create more advanced layouts. All right, now one other change is that they also now have an advanced row so this is to take the place of their old section column. And one thing they've added here is box shadow. They didn't used to have box shadow options. Okay, so those are some of the changes coming in the beta. Now there's been some other news. It's long been rumored that there would be a pro version of Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, now Spectra. And that's now been confirmed. It's in the works. And we have some information about it that will be of interest to people. First of all, the Pro version will support now dynamic data. And the Pro version will have a new theme builder. Some of the popular options like Cadence Theme and Cadence Blocks or Generate Press and Generate Blocks have had a theme builder option for a while. And now the theme builder option is coming to Spectra Pro. A big difference between these other options and Spectra is that the Spectra theme builder will be theme independent. It won't rely on the Astra theme. You'll be able to use it with other themes. So that's a big flexible difference. Now some other news that's been released is that the pro version of Spectra will be included in the bundles that Brainstorm Force offers. They have an Essentials Bundle and a Growth Bundle, and Spectra will be included in both of those. So these bundles have been a great value. I purchased the bundle initially when I got Astro Pro, and I was using Beaver Builder. And when I switched over to Elementor, I was glad to have the Pro version of their Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. I've used the Convert Pro and the Schema Pro add-ons. And so the bundle has been a good value to me. And now there's even more value being added with Spectra Pro. By including it in the bundle, they're bringing value to their customers who've already purchased. So this is something to look forward to. There's no release date yet for the Pro version. It could be up to two months. 
So let's keep our eyes open. The advantage that Brainstorm Force has in releasing their Pro version later is that they're releasing it with a more mature version now of Gutenberg. They've also seen what's worked well and what hasn't worked well in this space. So I'm expecting it to be a nice offering. There's a text version of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and videos. Hope you found this news about Spectra interesting. Thank you for watching.